Late last night, two police officers were shot in Ferguson, Missouri. The site of the shooting was a protest that followed shortly after the resignation of police chief Tom Jackson. Now, by all accounts, or at least most accounts, the protest began in a very peaceful fashion. But as time went by, tensions rose on both sides. Eventually, uh, police in riot gear with riot shields were called to the scene. There were some minor scuffles uh, between police officers and protesters. And shortly after midnight, shots were fired. Although, as you're going to see soon, there is some debate over exactly where the shots originated from. Uh, St. Louis County Police Chief John Belmar told reporters that a 41-year-old officer from his department was struck in the shoulder, and a 32-year-old officer from the nearby Webster Groves Police Department was hit in the face around midnight as the crowd was starting to break up. Now, both of those police officers are considered in serious condition right now. Uh, neither has died from their injuries, although obviously serious injuries, particularly the police officer who was shot in the face. Um, the police chief responded to the shooting saying, I don't know who did the shooting, to be honest with you right now, but somehow they were embedded in that group of folks. Um, and that's what we're hearing from many outlets, that they believe that the, the, the shooter was amongst the protesters. Although freelance photographer Bradley J. Rayford told the New York Times that he was standing near the officers when he heard the bullets go past his head. Bill O'Reilly also heard them go past his head. <laughs> he told the newspaper that he saw muzzle fire from the direction of a hill across from the police station. Witnesses told the St. Louis uh, Post-Dispatch that the shots appeared to come from a block of homes on Tiffin Avenue. And there are other witnesses from that area that do confirm that. So we don't know exactly where the shots came from. We do know that uh, only police officers were hit. Multiple protesters were taken in as a result of this, and the protests rapidly uh, dissipated after the shooting, understandably. The, uh, just to uh, uh, follow up, uh, what, uh, they're, they're both out of the hospital. Now. Oh, they are now out of the hospital. Okay. Uh, they're Earlier both today, St. Louis, uh, they were at uh, St. Louis's Barnes Jewish Hospital. You're welcome. Uh, and they were both, uh, both released this morning. That's great news. Yeah. So uh, the person who did the shooting, we obviously have no idea who they are at this point and what their motivation was. Uh, but they couldn't have done more damage uh, to the legitimate protesters in Ferguson. They couldn't have done more damage, not just to the cops who they shot in the face, Mm -hmm. uh, but also to the community of Ferguson, because it allows uh, the people who are opposed to them to say, you see that? We told you the protesters were violent in the first place. Yeah. And it's, and it's, almost, it's worse than the protesters. It's them. Mm -hmm. It's not even specifics. It's like, look, what are you complaining about? What are you people complaining about? What are you so angry about? You know, accusing the, uh, this administration somehow, which is being held responsible for this, for setting back race relations, as we'll hear, for decades from Fox. So... It's worse than just saying the protesters. Yeah. It's grouping an entire group of people who are outraged by this, even if you didn't protest, into a group of a sort of uh, outraged malcontents who can never be pleased. Yeah. And, 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 and of course, there's the irony that uh, the right wing will always say if a cop does something uh, excessive, well, there's a few bad apples, right? Mm -hmm. But whenever it's the protesters, it's not, oh, there's a few bad apples or one bad apple with a gun, by the way. Uh, no, it's all the protesters. Yeah. And we told you that they were violent like this. So it's not just the cops they shot, but understand that's the most important part. Somebody got, yeah. two people got shot here, and that's a tragedy in and of itself. And, uh, but also the damage they do on a broader scale. Yeah, well, and what, I, I, what I hope happens here is that they find the shooter and they prosecute him to the fullest extent of the law, which will be a nice change of pace for Ferguson. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and also timing wise, like, as you say, it's a tragedy regardless of when it happens, but timing wise, like we just had the Justice Department report uh, revealing uh, just a pattern of systematic abuses by police officers in Ferguson, but also the municipal court officials uh, making life a living hell for people living in Ferguson, not just on one day in one protest, but over the course of people's entire lives. We, we saw over 10,000 arrest warrants issued in a year for a community of 16,000 people. We see people who are locked into a cycle of paying, fee, trying to pay off fees that they can't pay, having to pay 10, 20 times more than the initial fees that are levied against them simply for going about their life in Ferguson, basically making it, making it illegal to be black in that town. And look, justifiably, we, we care about what happened to the cops, but I also care about what happens to the 16,000 people that live in that community, and you're not going to hear much about that after Those this. Those are separate things. I mean, you're right. We should care. They are I mean, separate things. Separate but what things is the media going to cover now for the next two weeks? I don't know. We'll see. We know what they're going to cover on Fox. We'll see what they cover at responsible places. But, I mean, obviously, nobody doesn't think that the, that, the, that community shouldn't be 
wrong expression, torn apart, but investigate it thoroughly to find out who did this. You can't shoot police officers. I don't care if it was from 500 feet away or five feet away. The fact that two police officers were hit would seem to me to describe, no matter what the distance, some intent to hit police officers. Mm. Um, or that is a master stroke of bad luck. So I think in, yeah. all, in all likelihood, it's, it's, it's the former. And then separate from that is what we had was a, a report from the Justice Department that had no equivocation in it whatsoever. The Ferguson Police Department is, is rife with corruption and racial discrimination. And, and this is a reaction to that. And those are completely different stories. Yes. Uh, you know, I, I, I think it's sad that this happened or unfortunate, extremely unfortunate for many reasons. One reason being that now it is gonna steal focus off the fact that as I had said when this story started, that the Ferguson Police Department is a racist organization from top to bottom. We're finding that out. And, but, but it's weird, the whole organization can oppress us, a people and extract money out of them illegally, deny them their constitutional rights as a matter of business, the whole organization, but they can, I guess, you can indict a whole organization, you can't put every cop in jail, so they just fire two people. So sending racist emails, that's a fireable offense. Yeah. But killing an unarmed black guy, uh, not so much. Yeah. yeah, and it also the fact that Tom Jackson is stepping down, I have a feeling that Tom Jackson has probably wanted to step down for quite a while. He doesn't mm -hmm. exactly have the easiest job. He's getting a lot of justifiable criticism for the actions of his department over the course of decades. He's, like, I, I doubt it was much of a loss for him to have to step yeah, down he, and, and he, probably move into some other just position. Go, he has his job waiting for him at the KKK. Oh, wow, yeah. I wouldn't go that far. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. I right. just I just did that's why I'm here to go that far. All right. Papa <laughs> He'll go the distance. I'll Papa. take the heat I'll take the heat off of you. Thank you. Papa, don't preach. Um <laughs> All right. So I, I wanna say two things that look, one, now there's some witnesses uh, that are saying that um, uh, that it was actually somebody shooting from a hilltop mm. five hundred yards away. That's what uh, Ben was alluding to. Uh, I mean it could have been the grassy knoll, but it, it really doesn't make any difference at all. It's obviously directed at people uh, who are the cops, right? Mm -hmm. So what difference does it make if it's on a hilltop or it's right next to them? It's people who are pissed at the cops. Yeah. So let's just be clear about that. Don't try to equivocate on that. There's no sense in trying to draw that distinction. Now, having said that, uh, like some people get mad at, at, at what Jimmy just said, whether it's even before the KKK comment, they still would have been pissed at you, okay, about, oh, well, the cops are racist. That's not the time to bring it up because they just got shot. And, but you have to understand something. Those two things are, are, are both true. Like, I, you can feel horrible for the guy who got shot in the face. We're progressives. We're anti-shooting, yeah. right? We've got a well-tested uh, you know, record of being anti-war, anti-guns, anti-shooting, anti-violence, right? We're, we're the guys in that camp. So it outrages us whenever anybody gets shot, whether it's a cop shooting a citizen or a citizen shooting a cop, we, we hate that equally, okay? Yeah. Those guys that did that got shot, they, they weren't the leader of the police department. They didn't set the culture. You almost always get the wrong guy. But remember, a lot of these guys are also working guys. They're union guys. So some of them might have done some things. We, but you don't know. You shot randomly. You don't know. And besides which, even if you thought they were the bad guys, you still don't shoot them. That's not what you do. Now, having said that, just because two cops got shot, which is a tragedy, doesn't mean that they haven't been racist for the last 20, 30 years. I don't mean those cops in particular, I mean the department. The, the Justice Department findings are still true. They're still true today, they were true yesterday. And those stories of how they systematically oppressed the black community in Ferguson did not magically disappear overnight because some idiot shot two yeah. cops.